Hey guys, we're only doing one video again today because I have so much to do today. I'll be going back to the three videos again really soon, I promise. But just for today, we are doing Stuck Remastered Thomas and Friends. So let's get started. I'm Cold skipping the winter. intro because I don't want to get in the trouble with copyright. And here we go. The temperature was unbearable. Let's the go. were suffering miserably. Okay. What's the temperature, driver? Well, let's just say it's now in the negatives in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. In Aberdeen, it would be quite nippy during the winter months. Well, at least... Oh, damn it. I have the flying kipper tonight, too. Ha! <laughs> Good luck with that, boy. Hey, Donald. I like Donny. No use. Your engine is frozen. <sighs> oh, there it goes. About time. Come on. The engines all found life very difficult in the snow. The tracks were icy, which made getting around impossible, and huge snow drifts were blocking the lines. Even Donald and Douglas were starting to get miserable. It's no use, Donald. We're stuck. We ain't stuck. Just put some welly into it. One, two, three. See, I told you. See, I told you. But when the twins arrived back at their sheds, the fat controller had bad news. Uh-oh. Thank goodness you two are back. The village of Olstead has been hit by a catastrophic avalanche and is almost completely buried. I need you two to get your snow plows and plow your way through. Hi, sir. And the twins were all geared up and set off. But getting there was easier said than done. The oh, snow was fairly was shallow as they entered the far, far branch, but yeah. soon found deeper drifts. <laughs> Just before Hackenbeck, though, there was a gorge where a massive avalanche had buried the tracks. Stop, Dougie! Stop! It was no use. The rails were very icy and they skidded helplessly among them. The snow collapsed all over the twins. The driver and fireman were able to just barely climb out, but Donald and Douglas were stuck. Oh, it's absolutely freezing in there. Oh, God. This drift is at least 15 feet deep. We're not going anywhere now. Soon, the fat controller heard the news. Oh, dear. Well, uh, Thomas and Percy are both trapped at a no for quarry, so the nearest engine would probably be James at Ellsbridge. I guess that's our best bet. Pull them out of the snow? I'm freezing as it is. Sorry, James. Donald and Douglas are on an important rescue mission at Ulfstead, and you're the nearest suitable engine. <laughs> Rescuing the rescuers. What a life. James angrily collected the workmen and set off. He arrived at the scene cold and miserable. You know what, James? It could be a little more or less selfish. Thank goodness you're here. The snow is becoming ice around Donald and Douglas. The impact at least shortened the drift, but it's impossible to dig them out. You'll have to pull them out. Yes, please do. As the workmen threw salt on the ice, James was attached to the twins with a rope. And try as he might, his wheels just slipped on the icy rails. Oh, it's useless. Come on, James, pull harder. James pulled and pulled and pulled. He pulled for almost an hour, but every time he failed miserably. <sighs> come on, come on, let's keep up. No, I'm done pulling those wretched Scots. And that was that. James didn't move an inch. <sighs> well, let's see. We tried shoveling, but the snow just turned to ice, so that didn't work. And the rails are too icy for an engine to pull the twins out, oh, or at least no. one engine. 
The crew thought of many methods to try and melt the ice. The salt was melting too slowly, so they then tried smashing rocks on the Go ice. Go through junk drawers. They only bounced it. back. Organize Ooh. bookshelf. Quite badly. Take out recycling. They tried a lot of things, but Ooh. nothing worked. How do I Hang get... on, guys. Sorry, I just... I can't get it... Yeah, nothing okay. Nothing worked. Curse this wretched ice. Just then, Toby came up. Oh, dear. You really are stuck in the snow. What are you doing here, Toby? Well, um, I've come to inform you that Thomas and Percy have been rescued from a Nofa quarry, and they will proceed with the rescue Wolfstead. In other words, as soon as... Oh, for God's sake! Ah! Yes, uh, I was afraid of this. Well, I better head back. No, please help us. Give James a hand, will you? Uh, well, I see no harm in doing so. so Toby please get them out! And, James, and the two engines pulled as hard as they could. Come on, get out of the snow, you wretched bats! This is just pathetic. But the twins remain stuck in the snow. Aww. The sun will go down soon. I'll call the fat controller again. That controller was having his dinner oh, at McDonald's, no. so he didn't get the message till later. Mm. I'd say wait until morning. It's what? too dangerous to work in the freezing night. James and Toby and all the drivers and firemen went home, oh. leaving Donald and Douglas alone. It was miserable for the twins. No. The twins didn't get a wink of sleep. The next morning, they heard a rattling noise. Diesel oiled up to the site with the drivers, firemen, and more workmen. We gotta get them out. We'll have to wait until summer to get them out. We've brought some matches and blow torches. Let's get to work. Trust the steam engine to get stuck in the snow. <laughs> hey, who was it who had trouble starting yesterday? Keep your mouth shut, you hypocrite. Diesel gulped and remained silent. Please. The workmen tried melting the snow with the blow torches, but the freezing weather just completely doused the flame. It's no use. It'll eventually melt, but we'll run out of gas. We need something to ignite it quickly, like fuel. Yes, I'm sure Diesel wouldn't mind lending some of his. What? No way! How am I supposed to get back? We'll sort that out after we get everyone freed. You'll probably just blow up Donald and Douglas rather than rescuing them. But I guess so, all right. But even with dowsing the bank with fuel, the fire just burned slightly before going out. Aww. It would not ignite the whole section. The ice was now slightly melting, but not at a fast enough rate. Oh, at no. last, the fat controller arrived on board Henry, who had brought even more fuel. We gotta get him out! Brought some spare fuel for you all. Sorry, guys, I don't know why this video's glitching like this. I, I honestly don't I know what's going say, on. It's a clever solution. Yes, but the fuel is just not igniting well. It's just too darn cold. Hmm. Oh. Just kidding. That controller went up don't the ice. Don't do that! Oh, I thought they were dead! Till as more fuel was dumped on it. Look. It just smolders a bit, then goes out. I see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Ugh! The workmen all scrambled away just in time. Uh oh! There was a loud crackling as the ice finally collapsed. The fire didn't last long, but it was hot enough to free Donald and Douglas. Whoa! Ugh, finally! Well, I guess hooray for the fantastic fart. Oh, how embarrassing. Good grief. No wonder Lady Act sleeps in another room. Yeah, after being frozen all night, it was great to have that gale Janice of Mona, Chris Daily Review, update. Yes. Well, 
I think we should get back to the shed, don't you think? Well, I would like to, but unfortunately it seems that fire has melted our wheels. Oh, um, well, shit. <laughs> okay, I'll well, see you all in the next video. Adios, everybody. And that was the weirdest episode I've ever seen.